Welcome back on North Dakota Today. Welcome to the Z-Line Kitchen at Advantage Appliance for the Cooking Advantage. Now, this will be Christy Ross' first time on North Dakota Today, but anything but her first time on television. You probably recognize her because, first of all, Christy, welcome Thank to you. the Z-Line Kitchen. It's Thank great you. to I'm have you Thank you. I'm excited to be in the Z-Line Kitchen. Well, and we're going to get to the reason why you're in North Dakota in the first place, but uh, tell people that are familiar where they can see you on, on television and, and yeah. see some of your cooking stuff. Oh, thanks so much, Wayne. And first of all, really nice to be with nice you to today. Be with thanks you too. on North Dakota Today. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yes, I host a cooking series called At Home with Christy Rost. It airs on Amazon, Apple TV Plus, Roku TV, Samsung TV, YouTube TV, you can find and it. assorted That's the other places. There you go. And then I have another segment called Celebrating Home, and that is just a five-minute quick cooking segment, and those air on all of the major networks. Okay. And North Dakota happens to be in the top ten of number of viewers of At Home with Christy Ross. So, to yeah. all of you. Thank you <laughs> Thank to you. those that tune in. <laughs> and we walked in here. Normally, we get here probably a half an hour before we go on the segment, but today, Christy had, had emailed that she was going to get here early to get set up. We can kind of tell you're a professional at this. You I mean, know, she's been primping and getting this ready for an hour, and it looks fantastic. Well, thank you very much. This is not my first rodeo. I believe that. <laughs> All right, let's talk about why you're in North Dakota. You've yes. got a keynote address that you're giving on Saturday morning at the North Dakota Heritage Center. Who are you talking to, and what are you going to be discussing? This is the North Dakota Farmers Market and Growers Association. Okay. and. It's such an exciting thing for me because I'm working with them. I'm working with the North Dakota Department of Agriculture, right. and they've kind of partnered on this fabulous conference. And it all begins tonight at 7 o'clock at the Heritage a Center. Yeah. And they're doing a social, and it's only $25 to go, I mean, which is a deal. And, um, and I'm going to be doing a charcuterie board tonight. So, yep. tonight. so I'm hoping that some of my viewers will come as well because this is the first year they've opened the conference to the public. That sounds great. Yeah. All right, now we are here actually going to be preparing something. We are making we are. a coffee ground bison that's going to go on uh, a bed of greens. Now, I found it so interesting, and again, reading some of your information, you said coffee grounds goes back to the Old West. They used to use that as a rub, and that's what we're doing here today. Well, that's that's right, and, um, and you know, the Chuck wagon tradition of the Old West, um, it was all about... Um, about coffee. If the right. if the cook didn't have coffee on the wagon, you know, the the train wasn't going. So Matt Dillon um, used to stop at all the campfires for coffee, so we know it's true. Yes, if that's it happened right. on gun smoke, yes, this it is true. Yes. I mean, you know, that way you know. Exactly. So I'm going to make the dry rub first. Okay. So I have a tablespoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and um, I'm putting in oh about an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. And I have some, mmm, this is smoke pack brica. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. the smokiness is wonderful because uh, it's like cooking it outside, but you're cooking inside. And of course, grilling season is coming up, even though it's snowing today. I was going to say, it's as soon as coming. the snow goes away. And uh, so, um, so this is also a really great recipe to throw on the grill. So I put in some kosher salt and uh, a little bit of cayenne pepper. Not a lot, just a little bit. Okay. And I just mix this together. And this is the dry rub. And you can do this on bison, but it's also great on beef. You can do it on chicken. But this happens to be North Dakota bison. I because say, I love local stuff. I love cooking and shopping local. And that's one of the reasons I'm here for this conference is because the um, what, what I'm doing is helping to promote the idea that um, if you are a consumer, going to the farmer's market for your shopping mm -hmm. is really the smartest thing of all. You get that great relationship with the farmers and growers. You, you have the freshest ingredients ever because they were just harvested exactly. hours before. And also for people who are maybe thinking about getting into um, uh, agriculture, 
this conference is a really great way to find out more information about that. I put in just a little bit of olive oil in the pan, and I'm putting this bison in here. Okay. Now, is it important? Now, this is a rib, this is a uh, ribeye, correct? This is a New York strip. New York steak. strip. Is it important to have it cut? To you've got it at about an inch. Is it important to have it at about that? Um, Prefer, my preference is to have them as thick as okay. I can get them, to be okay. honest with you. And the key to cooking bison is you don't want to overcook it right. because it gets tough, and that's no fun. So um, anyway, so I'm giving a keynote on Saturday, Saturday morning, excuse me while I get rid of this because it's ugly. <laughs> um, <laughs> And um, and I'm, I, yeah, and I at ten thirty at the Heritage Center, and that too is open to to the public. So I hope all my friends will come. There but I'm going to be talking about marketing, marketing as a you know, if you're a farmer, if you're a grower, if you're an artisan, because many farmers markets have beyond the food, they also have the artisans. They have you know the jewelry and the basket makers and the sure, and sure. the cutting boards and all those kinds of things. I was I was going to mention too, before we get too deep, and I forget about this, Ooh, Christy splits pretty. her time between Colorado and Texas, all right? I do. Now, what was it, a week or so ago, Colorado got just feet of snow, and they, you got out of there just in time. We did. We just You're going to be heading it. out before we get the, whatever the snowfall from the Colorado low, which you could yes. have kept in Colorado yes. if you would have wanted I know. to. I, you know, that is coming like this care. weekend. <laughs> so you're, you're hitting the, air, air, the airlines again to get out of here before that, right? I am Saturday right after the keynote. I'm out of here. I'm headed back to <laughs> Texas. I have to refine my Texas accent. There you, know, you go. I, I think you found spend it. Spend all my time yeah, in uh, Colorado. <laughs> okay, what's the prep time on something like this? If somebody was going to look at this recipe, what would be the time? In the entire prep time for something. Well, as you could see, um, I, that was pretty much it. You're yeah. just going to measure out your ingredients. And by the way, I'm just going to make a quick lime cilantro dressing. Okay. And so I have just a little bit of uh, Dijon mustard in here. I'm going to add a teeny bit of salt and just a teeny. You don't need a lot. I like to use kosher salt or sea salt for that. Um, I put in some freshly ground pepper if I had it, but I don't. Okay. So that's okay. And um, I'm just going to take a lime and you could you know on on some dressings you can use a um like a red wine vinegar or balsamic Correct. vinegar or something but i want this this wonderful lime uh zest in here so i'm i'm going to just juice this is a big lime so i'm going to use yeah. a half of it and go. then i'll add in a little bit of canola oil i use when i'm making a red wine vinegar kind of vinaigrette i'll use a um a, an olive oil, but for something like this that's lighter, I want to use a canola you don't oil want that or something. Taste to, that is of correct. The, of the olive. Yeah, I want everything else to show up. I thought it was interesting too, and of course we had time to visit here before we came on the air. I know, but it was you were fun. saying, Christy, that when you are are preparing a meal or doing some baking, especially in Colorado, because of the altitude. Things are way different than when you do it here or in Texas. It can be very, very different, especially baking. Yeah, yeah it's a totally different kind of process. Uh, lower amount of sugar, higher amount of carbs, uh, lower amount of, um, of the uh, leavening. Yeah. yeah, all those things change. So I'm going to add this in, give it a quick whisk, pour that over my so canola veggies. Oil. Uh, lime juice, right, and some of the, the spices that you had coming in. Well, actually, I just used salt and pepper salt in here, pepper. or pepper if I had it. There but, you go. You know, yeah, that's how it goes for TV. We'll pretend okay. it was so pepper. I have, yeah. So here I have a um, beautiful bison steak that I cooked just a little bit ago, and I'm going. To, oh, look! See how pretty pink oh. it is inside. This is just look what at you that, want. Lee. Ah, and so this goodness. is a gorgeous coffee rubbed North Dakota. Bison steak salad. Uh, it's going to be fantastic. We're down to thirty seconds, Christy. Tell us again Thank you so where much. people can see you, what, uh, yes. when you're going to be speaking, and what you'll be talking about. Okay, it all starts tonight at seven o'clock at the Heritage Center. It's only twenty-five dollars. That's the social, mm -hmm. and um, I'll be doing a charcuterie board. And then tomorrow there are seminars all day. Saturday morning at 1030, I have the keynote, and it's only $40 a day. Public is welcome. If you're interested in farmer's markets, there's the place to find the info.
got nothing else to do this weekend. You can clear your driveway later from the snow. Absolutely. Why don't you head to the North Dakota Put on your Heritage boots and Center. come. Christy Ross, thank you so much. Wayne, we appreciate you. you being here in North Dakota, and thank you for sharing some time with us this It morning. was my pleasure. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, we're going to take a break. We're back. We've got more coming up on North Dakota.